Yo, what's up, guys? My name is JT, and we're going to run a train right here on Model Railroad in the Southwest. So in this episode, we're going to run a reefer train. Now, reefer trains hold somewhat of a special place in my heart, and that is because ever since I was a kid, I used to see these reefer trains running on club layouts, on the layouts at the train shows, and at a train store I used to visit in Albuquerque. Now, I've always loved reefer trains, and I love unit trains in general, so now I've been able to build some nice reefer trains and some unit trains. The one that I've been building three years before this was a Union Pacific Pacific Fruit Express train. I have about 32 of those cars running with different various engines and they look really good. You may have seen some of them in my old videos where I show you guys my uh, big boy and my 844 and maybe some other engines that I put those in. Now I have been starting a new one which is a Santa Fe reefer train and I first started that about two weeks ago. So when I started that, we visited Colorado, and it was a great time. I'll show you guys a little clip of a little steam engine that we found there in Cripple Creek, Colorado. Great place to go. Go check that little place out. It's a nice little train ride. It's really short, but it's cheap, so it's really nice. So So I went to visit Roy's Trains, which is unfortunately going out of business. It's really unfortunate. I like that place. I used to buy a lot of stuff there, but it's going out of business. It's going to go out of business on August 31st of 2024, or I think it's, yeah, August 24, whatever. I don't know. What's well, one of those days? I know it's in August. Anyway, so over there, I found three Santa Fe reefers and I thought hey you know might as well start a nice Santa Fe reefer train so while we were there I was looking on trains.com and I found a nice little engine to run some of these trains although it might be slightly out of the era for some of these reefers that I got but oh well you know I'll find some different engines in the future but this one will work so like I said I have a BLI uh, steam engine that'll work with this I found three boxes of 50 foot ice bunkers from Athern ready to roll which will be pretty nice in the consist and I found one more on eBay and I have my eyes on some MTH ones that I saw on eBay as well don't know if I'm going to pick them up yet but I might in the future or if they you know sell out whatever I'll find some more anyway so let's go ahead and take a look at what I got alrighty guys so check it out this is what I have for now I have a couple of cars on top of the layout but first off the ready to roll 50 foot bunkers so these are them right here. There's three boxes. They're all different road numbers and they're pretty nice. I got them for an exceptional deal on eBay and I just cannot believe the deal that I got on them. So let's take a look at what else I got. So this is the eBay box that I have right here and let's take a look at it. Let's go ahead and open it up. People are always asking me, why do I have blue gloves? Well, right now, I guess it kind of doesn't matter but I don't like to get fingerprints on any of my trains and stuff, but that's the main reason. It's not because I think I'm gonna get sick from whatever's in the box. I just don't like to get any sort of fingerprints on any of the trains that I have. This one, I guess it does make sense because it is not in its original box, but it is wrapped up in a bunch of bubble wrap. So let's go take a look at that. So I'm pretty sure this is a blue box uh, reefer. I got this for like maybe 10 bucks. It's supposed to have everything on it. And so far, it, so I think it has all of the parts on it. 
I don't think it does because it's missing a couple of latches on the picture. It had everything, but if you jiggle it around, you can hear something in there. I'm pretty sure it's one of the latches for the hatch, but that's a little unfortunate because I looked at these very thoroughly to make sure they had everything on them. Unfortunately, it does not, but I've been looking on eBay to make sure I can find some of these latches. I might just buy a couple of cars that I don't run and take the latches off of those so I can put them on this. Or maybe I can, I don't know, make one out of some styrene. I just don't know yet. But anyway, here's one of them. Yeah, let's put that back in the box for now. Let's go ahead and open up this box. This is from trains.com. This is the engine. So let's go ahead and open this one up. So we're going to do this one. I have my son with me, one of them. And he is trying to help me make my video. So if you hear him talking, that's him. His name's Levi. So let's go ahead and open this up real quick. So here it is. This is a Broadway Limited Paragon 4 ATSF 82, or excuse me, 282. And this is number 4018. This has the road pilot because I didn't want the i didn't want the i guess it's the switcher pilot i think i can't quite remember what it is but let's go ahead and open this up so here's the engine like i said it's paragon 4 so it has smoke that is one of my most favorite aspects about broadway limited and they just have a really good build quality but you know a lot of people don't like smoke and they think that it's such a problem well in my opinion i like it that's one of my favorite things about running steam engines is the smoke so here's the engine right here, and I'll give you guys a much better look later when it's on the layout, but there it is. So let's go ahead and put this all on the layout and see how it looks. Okay, so here's the engine, and it's a pretty nice looking engine. Very well detailed, well built. It's a little on the light side, but you know, it's not a very big engine, so what do you get? I think this is the smallest uh, HO scale steam engine that I've ever bought from Broadway Limited or any other uh, manufacturer. But let's take a look at the whistle. It sounds pretty nice. Sounds good. Take a look at the bell. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these cars on the track and then we'll see it go around the layout. Okay, so let's get some cars on the track. So the first one is the one I got from eBay. I opened it up with you guys a little earlier and also the one that I was worried that it was missing the latches from the top of the unit. So it turns out that the latches were sitting, one of them was sitting inside of the car and then one of them was stuck to a piece of tape for the packaging. The next one is an MTH. I got this from Roy's. It has metal wheels and has KD couplers, which is pretty nice. The next ones are from Accurail. They're wood-sided. One of them has KDs and the other one has some, uh, I think they're uh, Atlas couplers. They look kind of strange. I'm more partial to the steel sided reefer cars, but these ones are okay. They'll do for now. The next ones that I'm going to show you guys are the ones from Ather and Ready to Roll. When I opened up the packaging, I was very surprised at the detail from these cars. They're, they're very well done. They have some really good weight to them. They have metal wheels. You know, I I know Athern Ready Roll has some good quality products, but I feel like these cars should be in the Genesis line. They're just well done and they look great and I'm just very happy with them. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these cars on the layout and then we'll see what it looks like going around the layout.
Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun recording it and taking all those trains out of the boxes. It was like Christmas all over again in the middle of summer. So I know that Caboose is a completely out of the era for this entire train, but hey, I needed a Caboose, so I put that in there. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I'll get some more engines in the future and some more cars in the future, and we'll see what this reefer train looks like in a few months or maybe a year or maybe two. So like I said, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please put a like on the video and also put a comment underneath the video. And if you want to send me something super long, check my email. I check that quite frequently. So that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later. Take care and keep you tuned to Rails.